Open source security is a tough issue because, of course, there's lots of people looking at the code and that have access that can improve and help with the security of the code. But one of the challenges, of course, is the, there's not as much resource to put into it as sometimes commercial software gets. So you see many big companies, including ourselves, offering bug bounty programs, encouraging people to break our software. And we don't have uh, as much uh, financial resource to help the open source community, but we certainly hope that security people continue to be involved and make it better all the time. Security issues are always there when you develop something without using the best practice. And this is part of Red Hat's business model. We like to make sure that we develop open source solutions with the best practices. And that's what our customers are paying us for because they're paying for a subscription rather than for a license. And that subscription covers them for all the potential risks of having bad code developed in a bad way. If you want something to be secure, it really needs to be open source. Because in an open source way, everybody can see how the security is being built. And if there would be any security breach, any risk in the, in the software, this would be very visible to everybody and can be fixed very quickly. Certainly the bigger companies put more effort into it. Uh, companies like Red Hat have invested a ton of money in to help improve open source software. Google has a project called Project Zero, where they're encouraging uh, their own paid hackers to go find problems in open source projects and then help uh, encourage those developers to fix them. And then there's other programs that Google and other big tech companies around Silicon Valley are funding people to help go fix the bugs. So it's getting better all the time and the big companies are helping drive that, especially tech companies like Amazon that depend so much on open source software. Cloud computing is completely based on Linux and the cloud is actually going to be the next operating system for the future. So what we did as Red Hat, we created Linux to abstract ourselves from the hardware, to give our customers choice of hardware vendor. Right now we're doing exactly the same, but we're elevating it to the cloud and we're giving our customers the choice of cloud provider so that they're never locked in. There's always going to be open source software and there's probably always going to be uh, proprietary software, but companies like Microsoft are figuring out how to kind of blend those two things together. You know, you can run Linux in Azure uh, etc. Right, And so we are moving into a future where I think some code will remain private, but more and more code is becoming open all the time. Mm -hmm.